Hi guys. Today I'm going to attempt to do a colander pour using these paints right here. I have this pretty metallic blue, white, purple, and orange. So I'm actually pouring on an old record today. I just painted it over the label and I'm going to be using this little kitchen sink strainer to pour the paint through and see what kind of design I can get. So if you want to see how this painting turns out, just keep watching. All right, so let's get started. So I'm just going to be pouring one paint at a time through the strainer. Make sure it's centered on here. All right, so let's do the orange first. I've tried to do this one time before and it didn't really turn out, but it's been a long time. So I wanted to give it another shot. I'm also painting it in my kitchen today because it is just so hot in my garage. So I need a little break from that. Hope everyone's doing well. Can't believe it's June already. So it's going to start slowly coming out of the sides. By the way, I'm curious to know if any of you have decided to start painting or if you're interested in this type of art. So let me know in the comments. Um, if you think you'd like to give it a go. That sound is Murphy sitting under the table with a toy. So sorry about that. So you can see this cool patterns uh, creating. I'll make sure to do a close up once I'm done so you can get a better view. But this is a pretty easy way to get this intricate pattern. It kind of reminds me of those mandalas that are pretty popular right now. So there should be enough paint because I am going to tilt this. I don't want to get too much paint, especially on the records because they're so thin and flimsy. They can't really handle a lot of paint. So I'm going to make sure to try to get a lot of it off so it dries properly. All right, so I'm going to pick up this strainer really slowly and carefully. I'm going to try to catch the paint that drips underneath it so it doesn't mess it up too much. Oh, there's an air bubble. All right, so check it out. Looks pretty cool. So this is what we ended up with. I'm kind of sad I lost a lot of the blue because I really like the blue, but I still think overall the colors are really cool and different. The pattern kept somewhat, um, it did break up a little bit, but I still think it's really interesting and I'm gonna show you a close up to show you some of these um, little effects. All right, so I'll take you down for a close up. I do like how the white and the purple and the orange 
how it kind of mixed to make some lighter colors there. There's some of that blue. We got some cool little cells popping up. I really like this part right here. And then here's the center. I really like that part, how it branches off. So pretty different, unique, I'd say. Um, let me know what you guys think. I will say the orange in real life, it is a lot brighter and more of like a true orange. It's kind of like a yellowy orange um, in this lighting. So let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.